<clears throat> Hi, I'm Master Jamie again. Uh, this is how to make latex fetish wear. This is the repair tutorial, part three. If you're watching this before the first two parts, I covered your kit and pattern making. I was going to put pattern making aside for the moment. Most people are curious about repairs. Uh, it's, it's not a hard material to damage, and if you can repair it, it saves you buying new stuff. So I'm just going to show you something here that I have damaged. Okay, so now you're going to take your white spirit and clean. I've already done some cleaning. I'm just going to finish off the cleaning on the inside of the garment just to prepare it for gluing and remove all of the white marks. Okay, so repairs are very easy. It's simply um, patching the hole. And what I do is you get your white spirits, little on a rag, little on a piece of tissue, and clean the area really well. Then you get some small pieces of latex, about that size, clean those really well. And um, then basically you just piece together a, um, a patch from these smaller pieces. Now, the reason you don't do one big long patch is when you clean latex and put glue on it, it curls. And a thin piece will just curl all the hell, especially with a curve on it. Now you can try this and you can get technical and stuff. Just a simple fix is to patch it with small pieces at a time until it's all closed up, which I shall hopefully now do. A trick is if you have a piece of spare cardstock to slot it in so you don't stick it to itself. And the good thing about using small pieces is you can just take your time at it. A little bit of your Bostic 3851. Now this is going a little gloopy. As you can see it will curl. Now, unfortunately, it's very pain in the ass, but as it evaporates, it will straighten out. Okay, so once the glue has evaporated a little, it'll straighten out. And the trick is just to marry them up, apply it to one side first, make sure they're meeting, and allow it to just roll over. Now you this kind of small work there's great scope for getting glue everywhere just try do your best not to cover everything in glue then once you're satisfied it's always good to check the other side and as you can see that's quite okay you get your seam roller and just flatten that out Remember when you're doing this, not to stick it to the underside. I've put some white card in here. If I didn't, glue would go through it. It would stick to this side, okay? And then you just move on to the next patch. Bear in mind this is monotonous and quite, as we say in Ireland, fiddly work. But it will save you spending a hundred or two hundred euros on new leggings. Now I just hold it out like that, just to get it to dry. And when I say dry, I mean the majority of the stuff evaporate and it'll straighten back out. Bear in mind, the smaller it is, the, the easier it will be for it to stick to itself, like this. You just have to keep at it to make sure that it doesn't. And again, you start on one side, and essentially you're just bridging the gap. So I'll just... And then... Hmm. Perhaps I missed a spot. 
any areas you miss or require more glue just go in with something fine and add the glue necessary bear in mind this will be inside the garment too so you don't have to worry too much about the aesthetics as you can see they don't line up perfectly but that will be as strong as it needs to be and you can just seam all that there now like I said if you hire a professional to do this the likelihood is it would um, be um, a lot finer but um, we are amateurs now one day I hope to work for someone um, and design and make latex for all the world however at the moment I'm but a lowly DIYer I'm going to time lapse this so it's finished Okay, so now what I've done is I have used patch after patch after patch going around the seam, making sure there's a centimeter of coverage either side of the tear and ending with a large patch that should hold that weakness there. Um, and basically I've gone the entire length of the tear. Now that needs 24 hours to cure. Um, as you see, it, it doesn't look great, but on the outside, it's unnoticeable. Now, the time and effort this takes will save you hundreds in um, buying new stuff. Um, similarly, I talked before about the types of patches, what colours you should use. If you didn't have black, you could just use translucent or anything dark, provided you were going to get a nice finish on that seam. Um, and that's it, basically. I will put up a picture of the finished product. And as you can see... Voila, mended. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.